You know, that first year at Care of the Load, it was very personal for me. To be able to look at these guys it was obviously an inspiration, but it was also just as important to me to be able to show other people who were out there that didn't necessarily have a connection what Care of the Load was all about and who it was about for me personally. It's crazy, like the history in here, man. Matt always wanted to be a fighter pilot. We're in Pensacola on a family vacation. Matt was in fifth grade, I was in third grade, and we went to the Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, and they had Blue Angels hanging from the ceiling, and on the side of it was the name of a pilot and a call sign, and Matt looked up at the aircraft and said, I want my name on the side of those planes one day. And that you know, is where Matt's journey really began. Each class has a stone plaque if they've lost somebody in the class in the line of duty. And their names are permanently engraved on it. So you can see, obviously, some of these over here from World War II, World War I have a lot more names, but our class is over here. My man went off to college in 94. First time I saw him from June to Christmas time. Obviously comes in with the uniform on, and when you're in fifth grade, that is like the coolest thing ever. To see your oldest brother in a uniform coming home. Matt's aircraft and the aircraft that collided with it were working essentially towards the same piece of sky off the coast of Big Sur. There was no radio calls of distress. You hear Matt Roger up a call one time. A little bit after that, the two aircraft collided and all four men were lost at sea. Just crazy, it was 16 years ago, man. Service and sacrifice is service and sacrifice, and I don't discount a death in training in any way, shape, or form. It's a part of the job. Just like deploying overseas is part of the job, the training pipeline that has to happen is part of the job. You know, in the SEAL community, having lost both friends in training and in combat, it's service and sacrifice just the same, in my opinion. The first year, 2011, mom said, hey, look what Steven's doing. He's going to be running 20 hours straight, and he's going to have a picture of Matt on a 20-pound or 40-pound vest or whatever he had on. Heather and I decided that we were going to drive in and watch him cross the finish line. He passed a photo to me with a picture of my brother on it and said, this is the first annual carry the load. So I left there that day, and I said, this is what I will be doing for Memorial Day weekend from here on out.